I'm Mandy Sermon from bedbugs.co.z. This is a Euromastic we got in. She's got some fungal spots on the tail which is looking a lot better like you won't believe how much better. She had it all over her body. You can see still some spots, some fungal spots, but not very much left. Um, this girl is uh, one that Tim took from the pet shop or they gave it to him. They were scared that the fungal spots might spread and whatever other diseases she had. As you can see, she's a lot fatter around her waist here. And she's looking very good. Uh, the day we got her, Tim said she's not going to make it because she was so, so skinny. She was half dead, she wasn't moving, she wasn't doing anything. And then we took her to Dr. Luke and he helped her a bit. So the F10 thing is what Tim said we should put on. He said every day just use F10 and it actually helped. Then we took her to Luke and he gave her a parasite flush and some um, bait roll. And then after two weeks we gave her a flush and some bait roll. We gave it orally. We didn't inject her like we do with the Bosch monitors. And she's looking a lot better. The pet shop didn't neglect her in any way, just to make that clear. It wasn't their fault. Um, a lady found this little guy in her backyard. So she thought it was a bearded dragon. So she took it to the pet shop and said, listen, I can't keep a bearded dragon. This thing eats too much, blah, 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 and so on. And so the pet shop said, okay, they'll take him in. And Tim got there and he said, no, this is your mastic. He had them before, he bred them before. Um, and so they gave her to us and she's a lot fatter and she's actually alive and it's going good. You can see around her mouth area, she had some, um, also some mouth rot and she had the fungal spots around her mouth which is a lot better now. You can see the new skin is coming through and out of her, no out of her nose is all the salt is coming out which is a good sign. In your mastics, you want the salt to come out of the nose, it means that all the toxic stuff is coming out. And this is actually a very cute baby. I had a lot of tears about this one. I really didn't think she was gonna make it. And well, I mean, why not give her a chance? So, and that's what we did. And her name is Paul. I'm not sure on the species romastic yet. And let me just quickly tell you why she's got the fungal spots. Most people think they're like bearded dragons or any other reptile. And they put in a massive, massive, massive water bowl. Which you shouldn't do. If you are going to give water, she only needs water once a week. The rest of the water she gets from her leaves and all that stuff. You don't put water bowls in a Euromastic's cage ever. It's not needed at all. So if you're going to give some water, you put a little bit in a tiny bowl and you let them drink once a week and you take out the bowl. You don't keep the bowl in, otherwise you will get the fungal spots. And so in a few weeks time, I will keep you updated again on Spa's process. She just want to get out. She, loves, she, she just loves being handled. Let's go. Show your belly. She's actually beautiful. She's yellow and orange. You can't really see it on the camera now. And she is a bit cold. Also, your mastics do need high temperature. So, but, anyways, this is Scar. And I love her. Thank you for watching.